Hi, Kai here from Kai's Creations. So tonight I was actually going to make something that is not really, it's more of a functional craft than like an artsy craft. And um, it's just something that I needed. And so I was going to make it for myself, not to sell or for a DIY or anything. But then I started getting creative with it, how I was going to make it. So I thought, you know what? I am going to share with everybody and make a DIY video out of this because I'm trying to do more DIYs and grow my YouTube channel. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button if you like this and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more by me. Um, very new to this, um, just uh, your average crafter on a low income budget and I use mostly things from the Dollar Tree. I also work at the Dollar Tree. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'll tell you more about me in my intro video, but I also have a crafting group on Facebook, Crafting with Kai's Creations. Creations is spelled with a K. If you'd like to join, if you're another crafter, we would love to hear from you and share ideas with you there. And you can find my business page, Kai's Creations, Creations with a K, on Facebook and Etsy. So I'll link all of that in the description box below. But for now, like I said, I just decided I needed something and I wanted to make it myself um, to make it inexpensive for me. And I thought I'd show you how I was gonna do that. So what I'm gonna be doing today or tonight is I wanted a makeup mirror because in our bathroom, there's no place to sit down and do your makeup and the light's not always great in there anyway. And so you'd have to stand up and do your makeup. And I don't really, I'm not comfortable with that. I want to sit down like at a vanity or something. Well, I don't have money for a vanity. I don't have money for a big fancy mirror. So I just want something little to get me through for now. So what I did is I went to Dollar Tree. Um, and I got one of these photo frames. The plastic kind, uh, five by seven that stand up. And you could get bigger if you wanted to. But what I wanted to do, what I got first, was one of these mirror plates. Um, just a thin Dollar Tree mirror plate. It's got some pads on the back. Um, but yeah, so I kind of held that up and went, okay, that'll work. That's about the right size. And obviously it's going to have some room at the top and bottom. So I'm going to be able to embellish that as well and make it look pretty. So first of all, I'll tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need one of these 5 by 7 picture frames and you can do any picture frame really any size whatever suits your fancy one of these mirrors again you could do any size um they have a couple different shapes at dollar tree but they're mostly about this size so i just picked a square one that size um and then i used some papers some scrapbooking paper that I liked. You could pick out whatever you want. I got mine out of an old book that somebody gave me, so I'm not sure what store this originally came from. Probably Michael's or something. And it has a bunch of just old, different kind of funky, rustic looking designs in there. And then I'm going to use one of these thank you cards, which I believe I think they're Hallmark, but I think I did get these at Dollar Tree a long time ago. Um, and I'm going to be cutting out one of the roses there from that. And then, let's see what else. I'm using some of these beads from Dollar Tree. And then some distressing ink, Tim Holtz. Okay. And probably going to be using this cutter roller from Dollar Tree and or my scissors. And this is where, and the beads too, a lot of these are optional. You get to pick what you want and your style. I started out using one of these markers. I know it has a gold cap because I lost the pink cap, but um, these are metallic markers that I found at Dollar Tree um, for a dollar each. I got a pink one. I didn't like the way that looked, so I ended up using a red Crayola um, colored pencil. You could also use some blush, some pink inking. I don't know. You'll see when we get to that part and you can decide what, like I said, you can customize this to be any way you want that fits best for you. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this paper out of there and then a lot of times they have a thin piece of plastic that is over these picture frames. If I can get this started without killing my nail polish, this is why I never paint my nails, you guys. 
Um, and I don't edit my videos, so I don't have any software to do that. But yeah, so you just peel this off, and ta-da, you have your beautiful plastic piece that, you know, basically doesn't have any fingerprints and stuff on it yet. So we just throw that away, we don't need that. And then I'm going to use this picture paper that was in there to measure my paper. Now I know I want my paper to go on the top and bottom. Well, if I put it that way, there's obviously too much of an edge. So I'm going to, I know already I'm going to have to put it that way. And then I'm going to have to use a second piece for the bottom and put it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure this. Let's see. This has a little bit of a funky edge on it already. So I'm going to just very carefully with my scissors cut that torn edge off so we won't see that part at all. Okay, then I'm going to be, and I picked out some other papers that I may or may not use. It just depends. Like I said, we'll see how it goes. I'm just doing this project for the first time with you guys so I can do this DIY. So I'm going to turn this picture over and I'm going to put it on top of one of these but I'm going to put it on the back like that and kind of line it up like this if that makes sense here. Maybe you can see it better this way. Line it up like that so that I can trace and cut along the line there. That's how big or how wide I know I want it. So. I'm going to trace that very carefully, like that, <coughs> and then I'm going to trace the next one, the second piece like that as well, okay, just like that, line it up, trace it, okay, just want to get it as perfect as possible, that line, and then and take my cutting mat, that part of my table is uneven, so I'm moving it over here, but hopefully you guys can still see it. I have the, the pencil mark where I drew. So I'm going to line up my pencil on that pencil mark, or sorry, line up my ruler on that pencil mark, and take my cutter, and very carefully go along the edge of the ruler. You should get excuse me, a fairly straight cut. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the next one as well. Line up this ruler. To that line. And then use the cutter, put it right, pressing it right against the ruler to get the straightest edge possible. Now this one looks like it goofed a little bit at the beginning. So I'm just going to take my scissors and fix that where it's straight. And then again, this one has some glue and stuff at the top because these were ripped out of that book. So there's a little bit of binding glue at the top of that. I'm just going to cut off so nobody sees that. Okay, so then this is probably the edges, if this makes any sense, the edges that have a little glue or a little ripped edge and aren't as perfect as the other ones. Those are going to go on the inside because the mirror will mostly cover that. So this is the really good one. So I'm going to start with this one on the top. So I'm going to line it up and figure out where I want it. And I'm kind of going to line up the bottom too to see if I can get it where, you know, the patterns match a little bit better. Let's see. I don't really like that. Um, I like that a little bit better. So I'll probably do that. So I'm just going to put some glue on this nice thin layer making sure I get into the corners though and around the edges like really want to make sure I get into the corner and the edges and then just kind of swirl it around I don't know if you guys can see that very well and then I'm gonna get this hopefully before it dries okay I didn't think this out very well did I I need my little finger covers and put it on there right where I want it to go and then just smush it down until already I might have to re-glue that because I didn't do it fast enough when you're dealing with a thin amount of hot glue gun glue it will dry real quick and so you might have to redo that but that looks pretty good I don't like that it's not close to that edge though so I don't know 
we'll have to see what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if there's much I can do. And then this one is going to come up from the bottom and go right there. Okay. I think that will look okay. All right. So, do the same thing again. See if I can get it better this time. If you guys can see that. You see, there we go. Okay. Go around the edges like that. Don't want the glue too thick, but again, like I said, if you go too thin, you run the risk of it starting to dry and get solid before you get it on there. And you do have to kind of very quickly line this up because once you put it down, it's down and you can't move it around much. Okay, there we go. So I'm just pushing it down now. It's not too hot on my fingers, so I guess I'm okay without that. I don't know what's happening to my voice tonight, though. I'm tired. Tonight's my Friday. I've been working all night, or well, all week. Okay. So, there we go. That is now covered the way I want it. Now, the next part is probably the most important part, the mirror. Now, I did notice it has these things on the back. I don't want these little rubber things that are popping the mirror out away from the page. I don't really want or need those. So I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and just scrape those off. Let me see. Again, I keep doing things off camera. Not meaning to. Like I said, I am new to this. And I'm doing all of this for the first time, this project, because I'm only making one for myself, and I just wanted to show you guys how I was doing it. Because somebody might want a little vanity mirror and not have enough money and be crafty like me and say, oh, I could do that. And then you guys can have a, would well, this cost me $2 basically? Because the rest I had on hand, okay, three if you count the beads. So $3 and then the rest I had on hand. And if you're a crafter like me, you probably have some extra various scrap paper or even beads or things laying around like that that you don't have to go buy. Um, okay. I think that's good enough. Let me see. That one has a little edge still. I mean, if I really wanted to be perfect, I could sit here all night, take some more time and scrape it off. Also, be careful you don't scrape off the scrape off the backing of the mirror, because then you'll have a scratch on the other side of your mirror. Yeah, I think I did okay. So as you can see, they're not totally scraped off, but they're flat enough now where it's not going to matter too much. So I'm gonna try to clean up as I go here, put that away, and throw these little pieces that I don't need for anything in the trash. We try not to throw anything away if we can use it, but I cannot use those for anything. Okay, same with these little scraps. I will save these. Who knows, might use them someday. All right, then take my glue gun. Now for this one, I'm probably going to put a generous amount in each corner. And a generous amount around the middle like that because I really want this mirror to stay on good and for this one I will grab my finger protectors and I'm just gonna grab this and again I'm not measuring where exactly the middle of this is I'm just gonna kind of hold it up and eyeball it and hope it gets close enough and then push it down I actually have way more on the top than the bottom, but that's okay. And now I'm just going to carefully keep pushing this mirror down so that glue smushes and really adheres to the paper. And hopefully the paper is really adhered to the plastic frame. Okay, so yeah, see, I ended up with way more on the top than the bottom, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, and it's lined up with the edges, and I really like the way it looks so far. Okay, then you might end up having to do this several times or do this later, but just because I've been messing with it so much, I'm going to take a little wipey and some tissue, and I'm going to clean the mirror a little bit. Oh, that tissue is just making it worse, isn't it? I might need a rag. Let's see. See if we can get this mirror cleaned up. Oh my gosh. I think 
like I used the old tissue that I had used on something else and that's why it's making it worse. Let's see here. Okay. That. And I'm going to run really quick and grab another tissue. Helps to be prepared, huh? <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> yeah. That tissue must have had something on it that I used from another project or something. It was sitting over on the side of my desk and I thought it was a clean one I got for this project, but apparently not. Okay, there. Doesn't have to be perfect. We can clean up the mirror later, but I just, you know, wanted to start with a fresh clean mirror that didn't have fingerprints all over it. So there we go. Okay, so move those aside. Now I want to embellish this. Now here's where I said you can get creative. I got this gold one out because I thought it's kind of gold and glittery. I don't know if you can see that. The slide is horrible for this. Let's see. It's kind of gold glittery paper. And I thought maybe I might want to do the edges of the mirror in this. Now I'm like, eh, maybe not. And then I also had got this distressed little crap scrap, uh, craft scrap of paper. So I was going to put that down on the bottom. Eh, not really sure if I like that or not. And then I did also have a rose. Like I said, I used one of these thank you cards I had. Now this is where originally I inked the, I cut out this rose here. I inked the edges with the distressing gig. And then I used that pink marker. And because I wanted some rose colored in there. Well, that's how it came out. I didn't like how that came out. You can't really see the pink color very well in this light for some reason, but I didn't like how that came out. So I cut out another one, <laughs> distressed it with the ink again, and then I just very carefully with a red um, colored pencil went over some of the lines. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the brown distressing ink around the edges. And I just very carefully in certain spots all those little spots that have like the little cross hatch and the little hairs, you know, the little shading hairs, I went over those with a red pencil very lightly, just, just to add a little tiny bit of color. So I think I'm going to put that on the bottom of the mirror, just like that. Not taking up too much space, but just something to add to the prettiness of it. Okay, so again, I'm going to grab this glue gun and... I'm going to do it really carefully. You could use another type of glue, but since I have this out and I'm using it anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And again, put enough glue where it doesn't dry super fast, but it's not going to be too bulky or stick off the mirror too bad. And then this one is a little easier because you just want to line it up with that bottom edge like that and then just push it down just like that okay see pretty <laughs> all right then i got these beads and i thought these would look pretty they come in a big pack this is obviously i've dumped half the pack out they do come in a bigger pack than this there's more in there from dollar tree for a dollar um it's 1.2 ounces i think 35 grams metallic beads and they have pink blue and green beads in there well i don't know if you can see i've lined up these i sorted them out by color first now they're getting messed up but I lined them up the way I wanted them to be, which was, let's see, it's all messed up now, I know, because I kept bumping it, but blue, pink, green, and then blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green. So I lined up a bunch of these in those colors because that's the pattern or how I want it to be, um, blue, pink, and green. Okay, so... Let's see, blue, pink, green. That last one didn't want to go. Okay, there we go. And now what I think I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'm not sure here because the hot glue gun may be hard to work with. So what I might do is just get a little E6000 and put a strip on the top and a strip on the bottom and glue those there. So I'm gonna grab my E6000 real quick. 
the only bummer to that is that it will take overnight or several hours to dry but it will be easier to work with than the hot glue gun and um i won't have to worry about you know burning myself or accidentally getting the bead in the wrong place or whatever so it'll be just all overall easier to work with and then i know it'll stay dry so once it's on there they'll stay put so i'm just gonna go along the top and do a bead of this glue just all the way down that top like that i think that should be enough let me do a little bit more got a little thin in some places and then as well wipe off that edge and as well on the bottom just do a fairly thick bead you know they're small beads you don't need it too big but enough where they're gonna stay put okay and then I'm gonna wipe off that side and I always you know your glue comes out a little bit when you use it so I always wipe off that tip really well before I put the top back on so that that doesn't get stuck in there or get all gunky okay so let me see how quickly I can do this so we're gonna I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna try to line them up where the holes to the beads are not showing so I'm gonna do that as best I can we'll see how well that works but you know all right blue pink and green blue pink and green and like I said you can use any type of scrapbook paper you want any type of embellishments any type of beads any colors you know make this your own but this is a really easy way and cheap way to make a little makeup mirror that you could use at your desk if you're poor like me and don't have a vanity <laughs> okay that one got the holes on top i didn't like that so i'm gonna move that okay oh wait that should be green right there so, okay and then blue Okay, pink. How did this get all messed up? Okay, green. Um, okay, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green. Okay, I'm doing it right. I messed up one of them. I don't know how. Well, not on the mirror, but on my table. Okay pink green okay this is gonna end end unevenly but that's okay i'm not gonna let it bother my ocd <laughs> we're just gonna deal with it okay so i'm just gonna go over and press down on those and make sure and like i said i'll probably lay this flat to dry it overnight but you can start to see the little pattern is really nice now another thing and i'm going to do that along the bottom too the blue pink green pattern i'm going to continue with that so let's see blue pink okay green okay blue and it's funny when i bought these beads i actually thought i just really liked them so much i wasn't sure what i was going to do with them and then I did this Valentine swap uh, that Mark Montana was doing, and I thought I might use them for that, and I didn't even end up using them for that because I ran out of time. So I just said, I have another bag too, but it's one of those things, you know, you just buy and you think, I know I'm going to use that someday soon. I'm not sure what for, but I just know I'm going to use it. Yeah, well, that was these beads. And then tonight when I decided to do this vanity mirror, I was like, oh my gosh this makeup mirror I mean um I looked up at those beads hanging off my pegboard and thought oh my gosh yes that's what I need to use these for and I still have quite a lot left over so I can use them for another project as well let's say blue pink 
green. Okay, and then blue. Well, at least it's going to end the same way as the top row, so that's good for my OCD anyway. Okay, and they got a little scooted off the edge, so I'm going to scoot them all over a little bit. Just pushing with my finger. There we go, and pushing them down at the same time. Again, I'm going to make sure I dry this flat tonight so they really stay put. But there you go. Now, some other ideas is you could do a little twine on the top. You could do a little bow. Um, I even thought there might be a way we could incorporate um, at the top one of those little stick-up lights or something like that. Like maybe get a bigger picture frame and do a couple stick-up lights so that the lights are on your face when you're doing your makeup. So if I do a bigger stick-up light mirror uh, for a makeup mirror later, I may do another DIY on that. Another thing I thought of is, which I have over here, but they're all stuck together and using things. You know, the little plastic makeup holder things that hold like brushes and lipsticks and mascaras and things like that. They have different sections and they're plastic and they're kind of tiered. Well, you could even glue one of those to the bottom of this and then have all your little brushes and stuff kind of in front of it. So another option would be either a bigger mirror or a bigger frame and then you could use uh, four of these mirrors on a bigger frame and make a much bigger mirror. You could put lights around it. You could glue the makeup thing to the front. Like I said, make it your own. My idea is simply this. Take a mirror from the Dollar Tree, take a frame from the Dollar Tree, and take some embellishments and very easily make a little makeup mirror that you can, it's having a weird effect of the reflection there, um, that you can stick at your desk and sit and do your makeup um, or it, you know, pretty much you can put this anywhere you'd like and use it to do your makeup or maybe even just a little decorative mirror in your room. Mirrors are great. They reflect light and make everything seem bigger and brighter. So that's it for today. And again, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, like I said, I'm new to this. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to bring you guys as many cool DIYs as I can. Some I get from other people. Some I think of on my own. I don't edit my videos. Um, I don't have software or really know how to do that. So nothing fancy. Just simply Kai with Kai's Creations here. Um, but if you subscribe, I'd be ever so grateful. And if you are a fellow crafter and you want to join my craft, book, craft group on Facebook, please do that as well. I will leave all the links below. And I guess that's it for today. Happy crafting. Bye.